Hello guys, uh, welcome back for another video. In, in the last video, we saw how to set up a bug with Motion. So in this video, let us see about other few interesting tools which will be like, useful for us in a like, you know, mobile vulnerability assessment. So the three tools uh, which are very important for us are uh, one is Jadax. Jadax will be very important in uh, decompiling the applications and uh, like another one is adb like adb i like in the last video i show how to get into adb shell of a uh, genie motion but uh, we didn't show how to install it or uh, how to configure it and we'll show we'll see that also in this video and the, and, the la and the last tool is apk tool so apk tool is uh, a interesting tool uh, which will be used to uh, like, unpack the apk okay there is a lot of difference between un like unpacking the apk and uh, you know uh, uh decompiling the APK. So we'll see what is that. So first tool, uh, we gonna look into Jadax. So let me open my Google Chrome and let me try to install the Jadax for uh, Windows. You can you can use that in a Windows also. You can use that in a Linux machine also. You can download to a uh, Mac machine also. So you, you have to go for a releases page of uh, Jadax GitHub link. Uh, releases it is very uh, you know uh, like very interesting thing is here like uh, they have given a exe for uh, windows directly if you are a linux user you can download uh, so like an you know, entire zip file and uh, you can run it uh, using a unix command we'll show what is that and as of now like like i'm showing in a windows let me install uh, in a exe format and let me run it so that we can see like you know how it installs so let me go to downloads okay it's it to be downloaded yeah it's downloaded jax once it installed if you double tap and double tap on it it will automatically open this so in this dialog is to select uh, any apk uh, like if you wanna decompile so let me just uh, select any apk which we downloaded in the last uh, video downloads and we have a lot of apk let me select a random one open file so you can see all the things uh, will be like in a sense uh, jadax is decompiling everything here so uh, once it decompile it will come like this okay uh, this is the main package of the apk all the things will be inside this and these are like dependencies if it is a flutter the, the flutter based dependencies like libraries will be available here if it is a kotlin kotlin based libraries will be available here these are our resource files resource files you know uh, like manifest files strings xml and layout files all the asset files everything will be under it uh, you know uh, you can view the asset like a uh, manifest you know, or any like any part of the code in the right side right side there are other interesting tools you know there is a, a dark mode also in a recent version okay let me like in, in our, like when we are doing a static analysis i will say uh, more about what all these tools are you know there are like this like there is a magic tool and there is a, a magic search tool and there is a deopsification tool there are very very like you know uh, so interesting tools inside the Jadax itself. So when we are doing a static analysis, I will say more about the each and every tools inside the Jadax. So this is how you configure inside a Windows. And when coming to Linux, very simple. Uh, you should download that uh, zip file which I showed, uh, like this first zip file, right? And you have to navigate, like navigate to that zip file. Uh, so as of now, like I have installed it in a downloads actually. So Jadax, so if you see, uh, yeah. So then you have to execute the, like, no, you have to move to the bin folder. Sorry. Oops. Bin folder. Then you can see a bat file and GUI file. You have to run the GUI, okay? Jadax GUI. <laughs> So it takes like when you are learning or uh, like running it for the first time, it takes a uh, few times. So when you run this command, it will uh, automatically invoke the Jadax, right? So this is how you will run inside the Linux. Uh, my RAM is a little bit less for this 
Kali, so it takes takes little bit of time to open. In the meanwhile, uh, we'll see uh, like uh, how the like, how to install ADB, right? ADB, ADB, uh, you know, Android device uh, a bridge or a debug bridge, whatever you call. Okay, uh, it, like, it like if you have Android Studio, it will be available uh, or defaultly. Just you have to configure the like environment path variable. If you don't have, you can go for ADB for. Uh, Windows, it will be same for all Windows Kali. Uh, look, like Kali Linux, you can easily download uh, with a single command. We'll show that uh, for a for a Windows, so you have to download a platform package. Yeah, from here, like Android SDK platform tools package. If you download it, you will get some zip file, and you have to extract that zip file, and you have to drop that. Uh, let me let me show you directly compressed file and platform tools let me extract here only yeah okay you have to drop that uh, whatever that folder will be there right adb tools folder uh, into the local disk windows folder right so yeah you can see in a uh, kali linux uh, the uh, jadax is open so this is how you will run a uh, jadax in a uh, like any linux it's not about uh, kali any linux you will run like this let me stop as of now right so let us go back and uh, see what is happening there yeah like it has been um unzip now you have to yeah like inside this you have everything you have to copy this entire uh, uh folder sorry entire folder uh into this folder windows folder or else you can set uh, uh you know environment uh variables uh, is it open yeah it's already open you can okay uh you can go to the environment variable and you can create your own new environment variable and you can uh, drop it here so this is how you set up the like it like hdv okay it is like, it is very easy and uh you, you will get the uh, know that is it has been installed uh, properly when you get like this uh let me open adb if you type adb uh Okay, I am in some different command prompt. Sorry, I have I like I haven't uh, configured in a Windows. My bad. So I have configured in a Linux because I will be using a Linux more. All right. Uh, when it comes yeah, like that's how you have to drop it in a uh, this Windows folder. Like suppose uh, let me show you directly. Uh, where is that zip file? Platform tools, key. yeah. This platform tools copy and drop it to this PC. Drop it, or uh, you can set a uh, environment variables. As I said, you can create an environment variable. Like environment variable, I have updated yesterday, so that's not taken yet. So let me show you new environment variable like adb. Uh, no, I we have to create a path, right? Uh, where is the path of that file? Uh, I think it has to invoke now. Let me run once. Okay, it's not recognized once. On an issue, we'll uh, set it up. We'll set it up.
Windows terminal. It has actually mm, Windows terminal is uh, very good. It seems I have not used compatible with this. Let us check it. ADB. Mm -hmm. The term ADB is not recognized or scraped. One sec. Not this. Not this. ADB is not installed. Okay. okay sorry we have to put it inside this actually now it will work why not it will work now okay yeah you can see now when you type adb it has to work so what you have to do is this you have to first go to here and environment variables and you have to check for a path here and you have to insert a new one and you can click a okay yeah actually i updated a windows uh, to a newer version so i got i got a little bit confused yesterday only i updated it so that's what like you can just put a setup here or else if you're linux i use the linux a lot like than uh, windows i really hate a windows more. if you're a linux user you can just type a uh, sudo yeah it's already there sudo apt get install hdp that's it like uh, it will install directly in a single command it's already there if you just type up uh, adb you can see this is how you install uh, like adb right so another uh, important tool like why adb is used in a sense to connect with the shell interactive with your android avd shell or jenny motion shell right so another important uh, tool which we will be using generally is the apk tool so apk tool for uh, windows like, commonly it is the same for uh, everything like how you can use uh, here in a sense like here uh, you have all the very good uh, instructions to uh, you know to follow the only simple thing is uh, you will get uh, two files here actually one is a bad file and uh, uh, jar file if you go here you can see the jar file and if you go from here you will get a bad file uh, yeah this is a bad file you have to create a bad file and just you had to drop into this uh the folder which i showed again like uh, this windows uh, folder yeah this windows folder uh, which were written so there let me see uh, windows you have to drop in into this and you have to modify the permissions and you have to set up the system variable uh, like environment system path same just like uh, which i showed you paper right now mm, inside this path right i don't use it in um, actually in a uh, windows actually, generally i use it inside uh, linux i'm not sure whether i have installed it uh, here, yeah, I'm not installed it in a Windows, so we can set up it, not an issue. Uh, but I generally prefer to use in a Linux. I don't want to just mess up with uh, Windows and Linux whenever I do the like vulnerability. If you type just like apk tool, sorry, you will get all the instructions. Why apk tool is used in the sense apk tool is used to unpack the apk how in the sense uh, let me see if i do i have any sample apks to show you yeah i have some android apk okay i have some no free apk okay so apk tool so you can see you get all the instructions like what to do what not to do in the sense like uh, what are the options you can use uh, if you want to build or you could you know if you want to uh, like you know uh, disassemble it or uh, like you know uh, unpack it so apk tool d now create apk so it will 
it will it will like you can give a path or you can give a like folder name if you want so just like if you don't give any folder name it will just unpack the uh, like app and uh, create a new folder with uh, with a similar name and it will uh, you can see it is inside this nokri like it was not there earlier it created a nokri and all the asset file uh, and all the uh, small if codes will it will tell what our small code when you are doing a static analysis and all other thing handle money first there are a lot of different options also in apk tool you can try each and every one uh, like, like all the options uh, if you got any doubt you can ping me up right this is how uh, the apk tool is uh, used and uh, installed you can see um, like all the steps here directly like these are not so complex if you still face any issues in installing the apk tool uh, just message us like we'll make another video on that right uh, that's it guys for uh, this video in the next video we will uh, discuss about uh, mob sf security framework uh, that is also a very good interesting tool when you come for a mobile analysis so we'll see how to set up that uh, in a live in the sense like from the beginning to scratch because that is very important video than this right so that's it for uh, this video see you guys again uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye guys see you